Hey, hey guys, Scott Smith, Rusnak BMW, sunny Southern California. Check out this Track Ready M3, brand new. We got it in the Alpine white, manual transmission. You guys recognize the brakes, and I've also got the carbon cloth interior. Um, we did order this one with the factory with the black kidney grills. Now this car is just under 185 inches long, just over 3,500 pounds. Zero to 60 with the six-speed manual transmission is uh, 4.1 through BMW. I'll talk about the brakes later, but uh, let's do a little rev time here with Johnson. Awesome. Man, that thing sounds so good. Twin turbo, three liter, inline six, 425 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque. Check out the engine. Check out the carbon fiber strut brace in here, guys. Awesome. Check out the signature. Thanks, Johnson. Check that engine out. Is that thing awesome or what, guys? Cool. Well, let me go grab Marissa right now. Let's have her come out and talk a little bit about the car. Hey, Marissa, how's it going? Hi. How you doing? Good, thank you. Awesome, cool. Well, let's go around. Let's get you to the front seat over here on the driver's side. Now, you've been driving a 3 Series now, haven't you? Yeah, for about a year and a half. Cool. I love it. That's awesome. Here, let me get the door for you. And you're about 5'7 without the heels, is that right? 5'7, yes. Cool. Look at that interior. Yeah, guys, check this out. This is the carbon cloth interior, which we don't see very often. This car is definitely track ready. I'll tell you about the options in the middle, I mean, in, the, in a minute. Let's have you jump in. Go ahead and get that seat comfortable where you like it. How do you feel to the pedals and everything? Feel pretty good? Yeah, give it a little rev. All right, nice. <laughs> what do you think of that steering wheel? <laughs> yeah, and you've got the nice soft leather on that steering wheel. It's the M Sport. And then what else about the interior? The carbon fiber. Yeah, see guys? You do have that in the center console up on the um, uh, trim up there underneath the navigation. All right. So you feel pretty comfortable where you are right there. Is that right? Yeah, I feel great right here. Cool, come on out. Let's try out the back seat and see what kind of headroom and leg room there is. Right here, oh, let's go right here. Let's check this out first. I just wanna see how comfortable, see what kind of space we have. Lots of space back here. Yeah, see guys, she's got a lot of leg room, a lot of headroom, great space. There's that black carbon fiber, uh, excuse me, the black anthracite headliner. Cool, let's go show the guys the trunk space. Yeah, you can pop it open. What the? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, where are you going? <laughs> oh, wow. oh so that's where he's been all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, check out the trunk on here. Okay, let's fold down the seats. I'm going to pull this, guys. Marissa, if you can go around and drop those. Hey guys, these do have true tires on them. Nice performance, non-run flats. So they're your gel pack there to replace your, uh, or to repair your flats. Um, also, you can see what kind of space we have, guys. These are built in from the factory, the fold-down seats. So you do have some utility. The rear end is reinforced to have the fold-downs. So they got great space. All right. Let me close this up. Thanks, Marissa. Thanks for your help today, okay? Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Cool guys, okay, let's get back to some stats on this car. So one thing I really wanted to show you guys also was the carbon fiber, uh, excuse me, the carbon ceramic brakes we got on these bad boys. So this one we set up white, manual transmission, the rear differential's a 3.46 from the factory. Obviously the uh, carbon ceramic brakes are massive. You do have to order the car with the 19 inch wheels. Look how big those bad boys are. Um, now you have to go with the 19s because they're so large. The fronts are 15.75 inches, the rear are 15 inches. Now one thing is, you know, these brakes will have a lot more of a longevity 
um, less brake dust and resistant to um, overheating. Um, definitely designed for some performance driving. Also, you save about 15 pounds over the regular brakes. Uh, you got what, six caliper up front, four caliper in the back. So just an awesome set of brakes on this car. So this is definitely the enthusiast track car. It's white. Put your number, put your sponsors. We went minimal inside with options. We did the right brakes. So trying to keep the pricing down a little bit so it's a fun car for you. I know some of the BMW enthusiasts, you don't need every bell and whistle on the car. We've also got the carbon fiber roof. We know for rigidity, also weight saving. Center of gravity will drop just a smidge dealing with the carbon fiber. You can get a moon roof on these if you, if you really want to. Okay guys, let's see if I can get my camera to focus this time through the glass. Okay, give me a little bit of time here. Let's see, come on, sweetheart. Let's try Let me back off just a little bit. I know that reflection is not helping in the glass on the sticker. Let's see if I can get there. I just wanted to show you pricing. Okay, that's a little better. Sorry for the delay, guys. You can see we've got that cloth leather carbon. We've got the carbon ceramic brakes. We got the M Adaptive Suspension. I definitely recommend that on any of these cars, man. You can definitely tighten it up, but also you can soften it up for everyday driving. You got the 19 inch wheels. I think we got the premium sound and destination. So the car is right around that 75,000 range. So here's your gas mileage, 17 and 26. City highway with an average of 20. And there's some information on the final, uh, you know, um, <laughs> final build location also where some of the parts are from okay also you know you got the black shadow line trim around the car let me back off for a second car weighs 3540 with the manual just under 185 inches long guys now BMW's got it rated at 4.10 to 60 um, and I know maybe some of the magazines with the manual have maybe gotten it quicker and you got the signature M mirrors no, I've mentioned it before, but definitely like the styling. They're always such a sweet looking mirror on these cars. I remember the old models, guys used to take them and put them on the standard models, the M mirrors, just because of that statement. Also guys, the emblem there will glow at night when you go to get into the car, so it's kind of a nice touch. I definitely didn't even know they were gonna be doing something like that. Now you got your seat controls down here. There's your width adjustment. So you are, when you're in, up in the canyons, taking the corners, you can adjust the width of the seat. That's lumbar support, obviously memory. M signia there on the inside of the door jam. This one was ordered with the Harman Kardon sound system. You got your adjustments there for the windows. You got your dead pedal down there, the good old M. Extra storage there. Put some stuff, let's get inside where the interior is here and like Marissa we were talking earlier definitely one of the signature steering wheels always something I like nice badge definitely very grippy check out the gauges sorry for the sunlight guys let me just change the direction here get reverse get you out of that direct sunlight there we go Okay, easy gauges to read, definitely. Guys, this does have the uh, navigation iDrive system standard, the 4.2 version, very quick, fast, higher resolution. You got 20 gigs of storage um, for music. You guys can see the controls here. Nice touch on the leather stick. Carbon fiber touch pad there. Good old handbrake. There's your adjustment on engine management, suspension, also steering. And there's where you can turn off your DSC or dynamic stability control. Got some deep cup holders if you want to take the chance. <laughs> Definitely nice style looking key too. Also they did make it available where you can put water bottles at a 45 degree angle right here. So you can have some water when you're sweating the canyons place there for your coffee but really nice interior as you guys know in the United States or as you will know now we do not have virtually I don't even think there is another model in our lineup that can actually have a cloth a cloth interior guys so it's one thing that's rare about this M3 
hey thanks for watching guys definitely if you got any questions put them down below please give me a thumbs up subscribe and hey let me know how much one of these things cost in your country you know a good nice modestly equipped track ready um, for the enthusiast I know definitely being a manual transmission um, this is one of the true enthusiast old school BMW setups. It's definitely ready for the track. I know some guys do like the double clutch, but hey, there is something to be said about having so much control of a vehicle with the manual transmission. A lot of controls here on the steering wheel. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, glad I got to them, was the M1 and M2 buttons here. Previous models, we used to have just one. Now, if you go into the iDrive system, just go down here and turn on the brightness a little bit more so that way we can see it. Let's just crank that up a little bit. Let me back up a little bit more. Get us out of that sun. There we go. It might be a little better. There we go, guys. But let's get into the settings here. Oh, not the vehicle, excuse me. Settings. M1, M2 on top. So really cool buttons, guys. So as you can see, you can set up your stability program, your traction control. You can put it to an M dynamic. That way you've got, you know, still a little bit left, but very aggressive. And then you can basically turn it off. And that pretty much turns off almost all of it, guys. Um, so just depending on how courageous you're feeling that day, um, you can put your stability program to what you like for and this is dealing with M1 then you can see your engine management You can definitely put some serious attitude a little bit of attitude or just everyday driving And I really for a thousand bucks I would recommend this uh, this option so you got your sport plus sport and then comfort ride So really nice to have guys. I've driven them um, the cars without the adjustable suspension and being an M series as you would know would be pretty stiff so not to say that's bad at all but if it was to be maybe an everyday driver or something you're gonna drive multiple days a week definitely that comfort is a nice setup and you got your steering adjustment here too guys definitely and then you can just reset and guys as you can see you do have two buttons for that so depending on what kind of driving you're doing you can set them up at any point in time guys you can push that button while you're driving sitting still whatever so if someone pulls up next to you and wants to have a little bit of fun all you got to do is push the button and the car is ready so one thing I want to mention but real, what a fast system these cars are these this uh, 4.2 version you've got a lot more hardware quicker so it's definitely very fast you do have online services included so that's really nice for the first three years Yelp Google search with its own 3g you know live gas prices news stuff like that so we, we do have the technology you do have the streaming Bluetooth guys with the navigation you can put in um, a whole address in one sentence verbally it'll download it you can tell it to start also you can do all that while you're driving with the BMWs I know some manufacturers still make you pull over to put an address in so that's pretty archaic I would think so definitely very nice as you can see the big screen you have it's up high so you can see from where you're driving view to the screen Back in the day, BMW studied where you actually look when you drive. So it's really smart, very high screen. And you can see they don't hide it in the dash anymore because the screen's readable even with direct sunlight on it. So hey, let's go outside. Let me give you another shot here. All right, let's get over here. Alpine white. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, share the car on your other media sources. Send it to your enthusiasts, your friends. Thanks for watching. Definitely, you guys have a good one. Later.